So, I, I, look, I think, you know, without any data or anything, I think that it, that it is helping that. Yeah. Mm. But I think, that, you know, to reiterate what I did say before, it's helping those that have the appetite for it. It's yeah. It's about creating the appetite for those that don't understand yeah. it or don't see the importance of, um, you know, a connected workforce. Or yeah. Just creating more meaning, meaning around what, you know, what is a connected workforce and, you know, what it can achieve for you. Yeah. That's, it's probably one part of a bigger picture, so it fits into kind of one little piece. Yeah, absolutely. So it's yeah. kind of hard to kind of pull it out. But yeah, we've kind of pushed it as that it's an, an enabler. Yeah. yeah. So oh, absolutely. Yeah. 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 Um, so that it's something that, you know, underpins. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And we're doing our employee survey again next year, so we'll start to be able to measure it a little bit more. Oh, that's good, yeah. So you'll be okay. able to see if that, that um, yeah. like, that area, that focus area has changed or yeah. changed or if it's shifted. Um, yeah. Yeah, nice. Awesome. Yeah. I, and with like with nom- like you mentioned like nominations are, are meaningful and like have there been have you had any like anecdotes from employees who have received e cards or you know who've maybe started recognising their colleagues a little bit more since Red was Red started? Um, I've had one director who said that it was a practice that she didn't do mm. so well and she's actually made a conscious effort to, to recognise nice. um, uh employees and she's actually one of the top ten users. I think this has given them that platform um, to be able to do that. Yeah, that's really powerful. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know if you can say anything. Not really. Um, I don't think so. I mean, when we... Um, what about the Excellence Awards? And well, yeah, I was just going to say, so um, when we did have our Excellence Awards um, nominations open, you know, at launch, mm. and we had an overwhelming response, to those nominations pulled forward. Yeah, yeah. Um, we had, you know, essentially over 60 nominations put forward and 55 got through to the award panel, which was, it was quite overwhelming, actually. <laughs> For the panel, and yeah. It, yeah, I think it did show that people, because we didn't have any awards last year while it was being reviewed, and I think it did show that, that people did want, mm, want yeah. um, you know, a way to be able to recognise employees. Yeah. And a lot of we went up to that excellent standard, which showed that, you know, there was that middle piece really missing. Yeah. So, um, the, you know, previously we had no way of having, really having social peer-to-peer recognition. So yeah. out of that. Yeah. And it's so out of that, that manager kind of autonomy around being able to, to recognise whenever they want. Yeah. But as I said before, there's still a lot of work to do. Yeah, with definitely. Those, yeah. Those manager awards. And being able to understand that they can go, yeah. go in and get given a award when it, wherever, whenever they want. Yeah. So hopefully we, we see an increase in those awards. On that, and this is like not really case study related, but what would help? Because I've I found like that's quite a common theme, and definitely in some of the articles that I've written and some of the people that I've interviewed, like that's uh, that's a big challenge for a lot of companies that. Um, like educating and empowering their managers is like a big gap because you know managers a lot of the time they're already really busy it's another thing that they have to learn or another thing that they have to log into and kind of become conscious of so what do you think would help you guys in terms of like supporting you in that frust- like in that frustration area um I- yeah, I think that if they had, probably if they had their own budget, they'd probably, yeah, yeah, they could do that at the yeah. moment because it, it, um, you know, as you said before, it took so much to even implement the system, let alone have allocate a reward budget. Yeah, okay. We have yeah. a reward budget, but it's centrally managed by us. Uh huh, yeah. And it's funded by HR. But yeah. I think it would be really empowering if they had their own budget to manage mm. and that there was funds kind of, um, allocated to that. Yeah. On their budget. Yeah. But also we think that it comes down to a little bit of accountability. Yeah. In that, yeah, yeah you know, we expect that as part of your role, you are yeah. reinforcing mm-hmm. the efforts of your employees. And yeah. We expect, we expect this. Yeah. And, you know, maybe setting, maybe setting a quota of, you know, but then linking it back like um, Katie also implemented a, a project a few years ago on our kind of performance. Review and development scheme. Yeah. 
And I think that it links in heavily with that. So yeah. having you know, tangible goals and then once those being aware of those goals and once those goals are achieved, then, you know, you recognise that mm-hmm. achievement. Yeah. So I think it links in heavily with your, yeah. you know, your performance it's review. And yeah. Yeah. Your, and KPI, yeah. like having clear, like, yeah. I think a lot, it's, it's funny because it's like these are, these are kind of basic things that we often take for granted, but it's like, no, but if everybody knows what the KPIs of the goals are and then you, and then they're constantly recognized as they hit them or as they're performing well, like that day to day recognition, then that's what keeps people motivated. And if you just keep doing that as a leader, then you would be really effective. <laughs> it's yeah, always yeah, just yeah. like, why is this hard? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and yeah. it's challenging because it's like, it's, yeah, I, I know what you mean. It's like you want the, you don't want to have to fill it out, but we almost have to. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and a lot of the time they see the HR's job; it's not their role to do yeah. that. Yeah, yeah. So they kind of go, oh, HR's job will just leave that. And it's breaking that perception, it's isn't it? Yeah, it's shifting that kind of perception and getting that ownership and almost like that self-service model in a little bit more. Yeah. There's a lot of things that they can do and take ownership of. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So like, like they're putting the framework out there for you yeah. and yeah. Yeah. instead of administration, you just need to apply yeah, it. Apply. Yeah, like you're giving them the tools to do it, but they've yeah. got to actually use the tools. <laughs> yeah. 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 And yet, like that day-to-day stuff, like getting them to use the daily, like Amy said um, earlier on, is something that we're trying to get them to. Mm. to yeah. Awesome. Oh, cool. Well, that's given me a lot of insight. Um, definitely a lot to, to kick off with. And I think um, I'll kind of just write up our convo and then there'll probably be little things that um, that I want to get a bit of, I like dive a little bit deeper in terms of some details and, and so maybe some of the stats that you've looked at. And um, I guess just, um, I guess like your program performance overall, but that's given me heaps to go off. Was there anything that you, that you wanted to mention, like to, to begin with that you, like you think, you know, in terms of, the case study, like you definitely want to be able to say and focus on. Um, what do you think around manager ownership in case study? Mm. You know that thing that, that they had a lot of time. Yeah, that's kind of what we're trying to do, isn't it? Yeah. So we just yeah. So, so when I think back to you know when we were writing. The writing, mm. writing the proposal and, and, um, going through the review. Like yeah. the main intent, the main intent of the program was, you know, to celebrate and share success mm. across the university because we, we didn't do it very well. Yeah. Um, and then, but also to provide, to provide, you know, the framework. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And managers could recognise because, mm. it's, right, like Katie said, uh, your voice engagement survey indicated that employees didn't feel that they were being engaged. Yeah. yeah. Um, so I, I think they were the two kind of keys. Mm. Yeah. 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 And that um, definitely, and that definitely came across um, in, in what you shared, like that giving them a platform, but also giving them guidance on how to use it and, and how to build that into their everyday, I think. Yeah. Um, creating, creating that narrative to show yeah. values. Yeah. Yeah. Um, 